it's hard for me to see. Still good? Yep. Yeah. Still good in that place? Pretty good one. Yeah. Pretty good one. <laughs> Let me see it, John. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Like it? Like it? Popping. <laughs> Free rub. Yep. I took a bite of something here on the side of it. Hmm. You got that one too. Good deal. Folks, what we're doing, we're we done decided to kind of quit crappie fishing right now. And uh, John Yacht and his son Aiden, they wanted to catch some bass. So they, they got some poppers on, and you see that's about the fourth one they've caught on film right there. Looks like John's got a big one up there, John. Let's see how big it is. <laughs> Catching one of them good tree bass up there. I don't even know if we can get that one. Watching one of your children catch a big fish right. or kill a deer, kill a duck or something. Uh oh, you got him? Yeah. Good deal. Nice fish, too. Yeah, all these fish are so clean and healthy. Look at them, it's like. Right here. No, you better not. That's a pretty good one, too. Yeah, well, don't, don't reel it up no further yeah, than that. that, 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 that right that's there. all the amount of line you need to reel in. Yeah. And just what you do is you lift your pole up. And so he'll get tired right here. Yeah. Too. You let the pole take all the force of it. When you when you get him up too tight is when he, when he can break it. Yeah, I'd rather reach down and dip them up. That's and exactly them right. Up. Me too. Well, I just tried the new knot, so I didn't really want to mess it up and break. You did good. You did good. I like that lure. It's not too loud, and it sits back in the water. I'm gonna say Aiden likes it too now. <laughs> to be honest with you, every time I've thrown it, it's been like the first or second cast. First time I went to Obigo Pond, casting my new one, cast it 16 feet in the tree. Well, I've seen some pretty good tree cast you made today. There he is, right there. It's a crappie on the waterfall. Yep, sure is. Yeah. Sackle. Yeah, that's a nice crappie too. I know you're not seen getting to something. It, it looks like another crappie actually. My water's on. Kind of. Whoa, I heard that one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Sure is. Hold him up here, John. That's a, oh, yeah, that's a chunk. Keeps it. Should be one there. There's one hit your line. 
There he is. I knew it should be one right there. That's a cracker. Okay, what is going on? Nothing. That's normal. That's normal. That happens a lot. Yeah. I've caught a lot of crappie on top water baits. Oh, it's got fish written on it. There he is. I can tell if you didn't have those on your right foot. I think you had your, your left eye squinted just a little bit. It's mine, not. John's sitting there back there going, I kind of wish I had one of them on right now. <laughs> this is his. We've had great color water today. And it's been one of those days we've caught, uh, what, uh, three, four species of fish. We did catch one white crappie too. And um, we've had geese today. Luckily, and I'm real happy we didn't have any snakes today. But it's just been an overall great day. We had family and other board members for Brad Deming Memorial Bicycle Fund come out. We cooked and brought food and just had a lot of fun. We, uh, we were really appreciative that the, that the owner of the lake that, that Mr. Dance leases from came out and joined us for lunch today. And I tell you what, it's just a great deal that they do for the, uh, for the fund and helping with the kids in the area and things. So. We're, we can't say enough about that. And we need to say thank you to Bill Dance. Uh, we probably never, probably never gave him enough thanks for letting us come out and fish his lake because I'm gonna tell you right now, this, is, uh, this lake will spoil you. Don't you think, eh? I know it will.